Yeah, hi, let me talk about success breeding success. Now, we're talking here about motivation. We're talking about you as an advisor, professional advisor, doing your job, possibly on your own, your head's controlling how you feel, and you might have a particular downturn at some point. It happens to everybody, it, whatever your, your role. I want to give you some ideas about that. Now, I used to belong to a gym in Gloucester uh, when I used to live there. And the gym in Gloucester, it was a lovely gym. It wasn't a fancy gym. It was a very straightforward gym. Let's put the, the word success up on the board for you, first of all. It was a very straightforward um, gym. It wasn't expensive. It was just normal people. There was no um, sort of glamorous people there or, or juice bars or anything like that. It was a straightforward gym. And I used to go down there three or four times a week and do some work on the cross trains, some weights and things like that. And I was doing okay. Now, they revamped the bathroom at one point in the men's changing room. And I went in there to um, I had a shave, I think it was, the first thing in the morning. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought, oh, no, Mr. Archer, you're looking a bit lean. Uh, look as though you lost a bit of weight. I thought, well, this, this gym's working. I shall do more of this. And I got quite excited about that. I thought, you know, here's me in, 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 in my 50s do, doing OK. And I got back to my, my routine and I really worked hard that, uh, that morning and done a great job. Now, I didn't realise what was going on until a week later I went back and I had a look at the mirror. And what they've done at the gym, quite cleverly, is they've, they've changed the mirror and they've made it um, a concave mirror, or was it convex, one or the other, but they made it so that people look slimmer in the mirror. <laughs> they've done it on purpose. It's really clever because, think about it, gyms need people to go there, use equipment to generate more membership, etc. Well, people end up cancelling their membership if they don't go. They'll keep it going for a couple of months and they cancel. So they can encourage you to go by maybe making you look slimmer than you are. You're thinking you're getting the results and therefore you go. Really quite clever, really. And the same thing is in life, in, in business. We want to make sure that we have successes. OK, you have a, an end deal that might have taken you six months. That's a success. But that's where we go wrong. So what I'm advising you to think about is can you make more successes in your world? And, and celebrate those successes. So for example, if you manage salespeople, do you manage them and, and reward them for the ultimate sale, or do you reward them for all the little activities that go on during the process of making the sale? Do you, do you, you know, give them success as a result of that one? Um, do you celebrate small gains, marginal gains? Do you have a way of celebrating those? Um, do you break down large goals into small chunks? and then have each chunk celebrated as you achieve it, either yourself or if you're managing a sales team, do you do it that way as well? Now, I have big goals. Of course I do. Great big goals, some of them. They take a long time to achieve, so I reward myself for little successes along the way as well. Um, how do you celebrate wins? How do you celebrate successes? Do you make yourself feel good? Do you buy yourself a Mars bar, whatever it is? Do you do something to make sure that you feel good about all those little successes that you have in your working life? And the final thing you might want to do if you're um, a sales manager and you're in an office telephone centre based thing is make sure you put concave mirrors in the men's washrooms. They'll all look a lot slimmer and they'll feel a lot better about themselves. Or is it convex? I never know the difference. Concave, convex? I was never very good at physics at school anyway. I hope that's been a useful little idea. Paul at PaulArch.com. Bye.